Hi there, it's Glenda again from Glenda's Creative Place dot com, and it is time for another one of Glenda's quick hints. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so my hint for you now today is to try to help you save as much room as possible when you start collecting your Cricut cartridges. Because as you start to collect cartridges, you're not only collecting the little cartridges, but you're also collecting, of course, the overlays and the handbooks. And I know a lot of people say with Design Studio, they don't need the handbooks. I couldn't disagree more. I still look at my handbooks all the time. In fact, I've showed you on other hints where I go up and I write all over with a Sharpie on my overlays, and then I put uh, in the handbook the corresponding button number on each page. So I like my handbooks. In fact, when I first get new cartridges, the first thing I do is drag out the handbooks and just kind of look through them so I really know what's on each cartridge completely. So when I came home this week from my vacation, I was so happy to see my two newest cartridges were here waiting for me, the very darling lyrical letters, and of course, the thrill for me, because I do live in a beach town and I'm a total beach girl, Life is a Beach, which I had been waiting for for a very long time. So I just got these, and of course, the first thing that I always do when I get in here, the very first thing, is I take a little inventory to see what is here. Now, of course, there's the handbook, the manual, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to show you something about that, which is what this hint is about. Make sure you have an overlay. Of course, make sure you have a cartridge and make sure that the overlay and the cartridge match because there have been rare instances when they didn't. And then the other thing is make sure you go digging and looking. Sometimes there are Cricut Rewards certificates in here and you can it'll tell you right there. You have to go in and sign up if you haven't signed up. But you want to stock up on these, so make sure you don't get rid of these because these are the good ones that actually have the serial numbers and everything on them here, which is different than the serial number that is on your cartridge. Do not mistake the two for the same thing. This is the number you need, so don't lose this. As a matter of fact, I suggest that as soon as you get these, go in and log them in the system and then keep a hold of them for now until you decide what you're going to do with them. All right, the main part of this hint is about the handbooks. As I told you, I still love my handbooks, and I'm not getting rid of any of my handbooks. However, because I have so many cartridges, uh, I, I, I've lost track, quite truthfully. I have, I think, close to 75. I have run out of room to have even one eeny tiny little eeny thing that doesn't need to be in here. So, guess what? These are your handbooks. And unless you think you're going to go and sell these to somebody else that might be speaking a different language or live in another country, guess what you can do? <gasps> Look. Take out the extra pages that have all the other languages and whew, it's okay. Let's have a little party. Look. Tear them out. And my one hint is don't tear out a bunch of them at once. Tear them out one by one because when I first started doing this a couple of years ago, I kind of stretched a couple of my wires and they've never quite been the same. What you want to do is go through and make sure, for example, I speak English, obviously, so I am only caring about the English pages. But sometimes there are those pages that have English, like right here, and another language on the back. So one side has one language, and the other has the one you don't want. But I can't tear this out because I want to keep this. So I usually just, as you see, mark it with a pencil. So if I'm whipping through here, I say to myself, I don't need that. And then I tear all the ones out in between. And then I know as I'm getting close again to um, the icon gallery, so I know there's going to be a page again that's in English. But on the other side is another language, so I'm careful. I, I always look, and again, I mark that side, keep that one. And I also know just from experience that right now it's going to start the real uh, part of the handbook as you get through here to the icon gallery. So I know I'm going to have to mark up one more page to tell myself to ignore it. And then as I turn it over, there starts the manual. So I just want to tell you, be free. 
tear them out, get rid of them. This is your handbook, unless you are like totally bi, tri, lingual, and you really want all those in those other languages. Why? It's just taking up excess room that you're going to need as you continue on your Cricut journey and continue to collect Cricut cartridges. Believe me, you don't need those other languages. So, shred them, baby. All right, this is Glenda from Glenda's Creative Place dot blogspot dot com. Signing off. I hope again that these hints help you. Thanks.